Oh, you're awake. I didn't expect you to actually wake up. You know, I don't really mind that you're scared and screaming like that, but honestly, I don't think your neighbors will like it that much. What are you looking for? Your phone? It's right there, on the nightstand next to your bed. Are you going to call the police? I wouldn't do it if I were you. It's a waste of their time. You're seriously calling them. Fine, go ahead. Tell them about me. A pervert? Is that really what you're calling me? Do I seriously look like I want you naked or something? If not for your body, no one would come over like this? Well, you are indeed quite poor. No thief would have any benefit invading your house, really. Rude? What? But you just said that no one would invade you if not for your body. Sarcastic? You? No, you definitely said that because it's the truth. The police aren't picking up your call for help? Reasonable. Your phone number is blocked because you forgot to pay your phone bill this month. How do I know that? I know everything about you. I'm not joking, by the way. I really do know. Rude, perverted stalker? Hey, it's not like I only know about you. I know about everyone and everything. I have to, or I can't do my job right. Hacker? What? How does your mind even work? Before I was a pervert and now I'm a hacker. What's the logic behind that? Deep web? Oh, you mean what you all call the dark side of the internet? I never touch that stuff. You're calling me dangerous? Well, you're not wrong about that. I'm very dangerous, actually. I take souls as a daily job. Hey, can you stop screaming already? It's past midnight. At this rate, someone will call the police on you for being so loud. Is that a... butter knife? Look. Out of all knives out there, that's not the most lethal one. And even if it was, that's not gonna work on me. Get out or you'll kill me? With that little blade you want to call your weapon? <sighs> you know what? Fine, go ahead. Kill me. I told you that it wouldn't work, and you still tried to kill me. Seriously. You're pretty stupid. So, are you done? Can I speak right now? Wow. First I was a pervert, then I was a hacker, and now I'm a ghost. You had three chances of actually getting it right, yet you still got it wrong. The power of Christ compels you? <laughs> You're the first human to actually say that to me. I don't know if I should laugh or find that offensive. Okay, shut up. It's pretty disrespectful to call for the power of God to fall over me. I mean, why would you call over God to come and exercise death? What do I mean? Are you kidding me? You really don't know who or what I am? I'm the Reaper, the Grim Reaper, Black Hood, Deadly Scythe, Cold as the Arctic, you know, Death. Shut it. Three times are good enough. I don't need you screaming for the fourth time in a row. You're asking if you're going to be killed by me? And I'm not going to answer that question. Why don't you use your little brain for once and think about the answer? Hey, just gonna warn you, 
tears aren't moving. I've seen one too many humans crying and begging for their lives. It isn't moving, nor touching. <sighs> Will you stop crying already and listen to me? Without saying anything? You will? Good. Look, my objective is only one. Taking souls from the dead, carrying them through the river, and letting them be judged. But I'm actually bored. It's the same thing every day, and I wanted to do something else for a change. What do I want to do? Slack off, of course. I want some rest. I work all the time. I don't get days off or any appreciation, and no one understands how hard it is to actually take souls to their judgment. You understand me, because you also work a lot, huh? First time I actually get some sympathy around here. And from a living human, nonetheless. What do I actually want? Like I said, I want to slack off. And I decided that I'm going to do that by checking out how you humans live. In other words, I'm going to live like you guys. What do you have with my problem? Nothing, actually. I just picked you because you don't have anything else to do with your life. And don't tell me that you do. I know very well that you don't. So I'm living here from now on. And you don't need to worry about me. I don't need to eat, sleep, bathe, or anything that you humans need. I'm death after all. Uncomfortable? Why? It's not like I haven't already seen you naked. Or that I don't know what you do with yourself when you're alone. Oh, shut it. If anything, I'm practically forced by natural law to watch over you. Believe me, the horrors I saw out of you are enough. Insensitive idiot! I'm just stating facts here. I won't lie just to make you feel better about yourself. Fine, I get it. I won't speak the truth about you. Even though I should, because lying isn't good. Just let me stay here and rest. If your house is going to be filled with souls as long as I'm here, you're honestly asking me that. I'm death, remember? That's obviously going to happen. Okay, fine, fine. I won't let them stay here. They'll stay somewhere else. Anything else? Wait, hold on. Why should I help with the house? It's not mine. It shouldn't be my responsibility to look after it. Because if I don't help, that's freeloading and you don't want that? Ugh, fine, fine, fine. I'll do the work around here. Anything else? No. Thank the, uh, darkness. So much for me slacking off and being able to rest. Hmm? What are you doing? Roommate, huh? I like the sound of that. Alright then. Here's to a nice stay, roommate. Oh yeah, I'm pretty cold. Like, naturally, for I am death. Anyway, go back to sleep. It's 3am and you have work tomorrow. What? Just go to sleep. I'll stay here and watch over you. You want me to go to the living room? Fine, sure. I'm heading off. Oh, and before I forget... Good night, and thank you.